Ooh, Ooh baby. baby. You're gonna get on live and then we're gonna step with the right hand. One. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna face the front. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your body facing the front. Okay. And then you're gonna go one, two, three. Hey yo, what's up? My name is King Wikirago, repping the Source and Capital FM, and I'm here with one of the one of Kenya's biggest music groups. I'm talking about Matata the Band. There are only two of them, so it's two fifths of mm -hmm. the whole group. Because I believe you guys are five people, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'm here with Freddie Milania and Richie Mathu. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're uh huh. Good. Yeah. Because yeah. I believe you guys have been doing like a whole media tour since you touched down. Yeah, we've been trying to reconnect with our fans. Yeah. So yeah. So that's the reason you're here. Like yeah. to start with, you came, um, you flew in from Norway to come and do a media tour. Uh, not really. Mm -hmm. uh, we flew in to visit our family first. Okay. But also we had some uh, matata business that yeah. we were handling. Yeah. Uh, so this the media tour is just an addition. Mm -hmm. on, uh, upon what we were already doing. Oh, so basically killing two birds with one yes. stone. That's Killing right. Five birds. Oh, actually, five birds with one stone. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And I like that we are almost like color coordinating. Yeah, Did you yeah, actually exactly. plan? I, I look like I'm part of the band. I think you got the memo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can drop or sing, but I, mm. from the outfits, yeah. maybe I can but fit in the very, band. But you have a very good voice. I okay. think, like, if you rap, you have a very good rapping yeah. voice. Oh, <laughs> you know, coming from a Matata band member, no one yeah. can tell me anything. We are going to get right into it. So, yeah. why the name Matata in the first place? Why the name Matata? Yeah, mm -hmm. why the name Matata is like what do you guys call yourselves Matata, not any other name. Yeah. Why yeah. Matata? So well, when we were looking for a name and we sat down, we were looking for something that was African because you know we are Kenyans living in Norway. Mm. And uh, normally when you're abroad is when you realize, oh, I'm African. It's like, and then you have like that pride, pride, pride to be African. Mm -hmm. So we were looking for something like an African name but something that had, was rooted in Kenyan culture. Okay. So we sat down and we were looking for suggestions and we had uh, crazy suggestions. Yeah. Somebody was saying, uh, fly the Afro, <laughs> Mamba Africa, um, Vaki Mamba. Africa, uh, uh, or Toto Wetu and all these things. Oh. <laughs> so uh, at the end of it all, uh -huh. uh, we were in a meeting mm -hmm. and Richie came with the suggestion. So Richie is the one who actually came up with Matata. Yeah, hey, he came Richie. Up, he came with, our journey leap about. He came with a suggestion and said, like, what if we call ourselves Matata? Uh -huh. And uh, you know, like the way we operate in Matata, yeah. it's democracy. Mm -hmm. So my vote was very instrumental. To yeah. Make sure the name Matata <laughs> is there. So we had two votes. Yeah. Again, it's, we, we had we had we were split mm. three two I think, mm. and like normally we have to agree yes so we were there arguing uh -huh. and we have these guys like a ugandan guy yeah mm -hmm. they're in oslo uh -huh. and we called him and we told like we have these name suggestions mm -hmm. we have matata and we have this other one what should we call ourselves mm -hmm. and then it was like are you guys dumb you should just call yourself matata yeah <laughs> yeah so tell me how having been in both industries both the kenyan and um, norwegian music industries how do the two industries compare from your own experience? How does the Kenyan industry compare to the Norwegian music industry? So when I compare the Kenyan industry compared uh, to the Norwegian industry, I think first of all, it's a lot of positives to take from both sides, mm -hmm. but also it's a lot that each side can learn mm -hmm. from each side. So I can say, for example, within the Kenyan music industry, first of all, you know, there's something about African music and Africa when we make music because you're not making it because you've been taught. It's coming from the heart. And it's, it's very different, like when somebody who has gone to music school and they create music, and somebody who has just created it from the heart. So I feel like, first of all, within the Kenyan industry, we have so much talent, so, so much talent and so much potential. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. our systems that are, the systems that are, support, are supposed to support the music industry here mm -hmm. in Kenya mm -hmm. are not so well developed in that the artists do not get their rightful share on the economical side of music mm -hmm. because you find like uh, many people, many good artists, they mm -hmm. end up quitting music because they cannot live off it. Mm -hmm. yeah. On the other hand, in Norway, you mm -hmm. find like uh, the music system is, they have a little bit of a system. So it's easy when you think about distributions mm -hmm. and public performance, mm -hmm. and streaming. streaming and all yeah. these mm -hmm. things. It's mm -hmm. streamlined in a way that mm -hmm. if, if you are like a major artist, if you have like a number one record, you, you're sure then like at least you can 
have something that, you know that financial part is very important yeah because then the moment you can live off it mm. then you can really put in the shift mm. but yeah on both sides is something is lessons to be learned mm. we are trying to learn uh, from each side mm. and then just trying to take the lessons and implement mm. on ourselves in matata mm. yeah I've spoken to you before and I remember you telling me that you guys went to Norway initially to pursue higher education. Yeah. Mm. So how did you, was it pure coincidence that all of you are in a band together in Kenya mm. but you also for some reason went to the same country mm. together mm. F- to pursue further education like was that a coincidence or was it something you guys had like premeditated mm. how did that happen? Uh, just a point of correction. Uh-huh. Uh, it's only Freddie and Marcus who are like in the in the same group. Okay. The I. Okay. And then uh, Ken and Festus uh-huh. w- was in another one. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was in another one. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was there the first one. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I have been a big fan of Freddie. Mm. I once saw like he was in Oslo, and then I contacted him. We met, mm-hmm. and that's how like it started. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah. You can actually come here mm. study, mm. and when you study, we can maybe from a dance group yeah, or something and just start dancing yeah. here yeah and uh, coincidentally now Ken mm-hmm. and uh, Festus mm-hmm. also they had like gotten uh, a dance school over there yeah so they came yeah the same time yeah so that's how we started as a dance group yeah yeah we will dance people's music and put it on YouTube and mm. we will get copyright strikes yeah and we were like okay we are tired yeah the next time we're dancing we're gonna dance to our to own, your own tracks yeah. yes yeah. I can't think of another Kenyan artist that has such high octane choreography mm-hmm. yeah as compared to Matata. Mm-hmm. Like why is that important to you? You guys featuring like high, I know you're dancers, but like mm-hmm. why is it so important to you to feature like mm-hmm. a very elaborate chore- choreography yeah. in your videos? Yeah, we, we wanted like to have some original content. Yes. And something unique. And uh, that's uh, where we decided like, okay, let's try to do some choreographies and to uh, in a in a one take way. So it's like dancing was another language mm-hmm. and dancing pulls you in. Mm. No matter if you think about Michael Jackson, mm. if you think about Usher, mm. Chris Brown mm. and all these people who yeah. we were looking up to when mm. we were growing up, mm. these are the things that just because not to invite you yes. to their mm. things. Yeah. Uh, we write the concepts ourselves. Mm. So that's that's our style because yeah. when you're watching a one take thing, mm-hmm. I feel like it feels like a very realistic mm. to the viewer. Yeah five different people yeah. who have different perspectives on everything mm-hmm. how do you handle conflict in the group so we've separated we have working relationship mm-hmm. and we have friend friendship. with friendship yeah mm-hmm. so it's like when we are working we're mm-hmm. really working that's work there's no that's work there's yeah. no hard feelings yeah, or there's nothing. no hard feelings or and then after that we're yeah. we your friends we're, we're whether you disagree during um you know the meeting or yeah. whatever the friendship goes back to friendship yeah, yeah. no It one does. carries what happened at work to yeah. the other part of your yeah, life very very rarely yeah yeah we are lucky with that that mm. we have this chemistry okay uh, with us mm. and yeah we are lucky with that good you guys have a huge body of work underway there's something you're working on yeah yeah, yeah. um any spoilers like is it an album is it an ep uh, we have a a big tune okay yeah mm-hmm. with major mm-hmm. coming up like um, in a month mm-hmm. or so mm-hmm. Yeah, so that uh, was one of the reason why we came yeah. and we were working on it. Yeah. So you know, uh-huh. most of our songs are being produced by Kenyan producers. Okay. Mm-hmm. About what we're working on mm-hmm. is uh, we're working on Matata 2.0. Oh. It's an upgraded version of Matata coming soon. Mm-hmm. Next to you the Stone near you. Yeah. So just be ready because um it's going to be late. Yeah. Um we are currently working on our album. Mm-hmm. And uh apart from working on our album mm-hmm. uh, we have a matata tour that is coming up what mm. can we expect from the album uh, that that uh, um, mm-hmm. we'll have to zip it up okay you have to be a little bit patient to okay find out. Mm. okay these are little quick fire that okay. i want you guys to answer who is the one band member that's known to be late to meetings who's a late comer freddy no oh. it's not freddy. <laughs> freddy bro it's freddy it's freddy yeah it's freddy. freddy do you agree yeah no actually i keep time mm. <laughs> he threw me under the bus <laughs> but i'm going to take one for the team <laughs> all right who's the ali bird Marcus. Uh, Marcus is always Marcus, yeah. Harry Okay. Yeah. Which artist had a song called Juju with Nameless back in the day? Mr. Lenny. Freddie is on it. Number 4. Who was Masi Myra f- in famously married to and oh, eventually shit. divorced? Oh my god, I know. Hint. Let me give you a hint. Yeah. Okay, Richie and Freddie? Yeah. He was a rapper. Uh, I know this guy. Masi Myra. I swear yes. Yeah. The first um, letter of the cool. A. No. Yes, it starts with an A. And it's an English word and he's a rapper. He used to be a rapper. I don't know if he's a rapper anymore, but he used to be a rapper. 
I swear I know my boyfriend. <laughs> Attitude. Oh, got it. Got it. <laughs> Each one of you is going to drop an Isa verse or an Isa um, lyric. Tumekuja kupati DJ hebu weka traki Tukule hepi alafu Tufungue sakafu sababu <laughs> No, go on. Pole pole mos mos Tuazi enda mos mos Araka araka haina baraka Mos 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 <laughs> Name three OG Kenyan record labels. Three. Ogopa. Mm -hmm. Scratch Records. Mm -hmm. Calif. Mm -hmm. Ah, we can even do a fourth one. This is like our dream mm -hmm. to one day collaborate with all these big vernacular artists. Mm -hmm. Like bring the biggest Kikuyu artist, mm -hmm. the biggest Luo artist, mm -hmm. and put Matata together. Mm -hmm. So it's like this type of collaborations is what we are looking for because mm. it's something that hasn't been done yet. Mm. Don't steal our idea. All right, which I find very interesting because you did a song called Achu with Stella Mwangi. Mm -hmm. And one thing that's very particular in that song is the fact that Stella Mwangi mm. dropped a whole Kikuyu verse. Yeah. Why is that so important to you guys? Um, why do you want that kind of like Kenyan representation so much? Or rather, why do you want to incorporate Kenyan language and mm. Kenyan um, local, local dialects in new music? When like we we met, mm -hmm. she felt like the vibe, mm -hmm. and also you know she she wants also to reconnect more from mm. from her roots, mm -hmm. yeah. And she's a very proud Kikuyu. Yeah. For for me, I feel like uh, she she just felt that that was uh, like the best way to express herself. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good. Parting shot to your fans. To our Kenyan fans, mm -hmm. this is the most English I've spoken in years. Buddha, kama una we really appreciate you mm -hmm. keep following us keep streaming mm -hmm. we have a lot of goodies that are in store for you guys mm -hmm. so if you follow matata just know my we appreciate mm -hmm. straight from the heart yeah namsi sao pale social media matata official mtufuata youtube Keep it locked. Uh, this is Capital FM. Mm -hmm. Keep playing Matata music. Yes, mm -hmm. it's very capital to play Matata. And thank, thank you, you so much, much for making it to the source. Yeah, thank you. For That's been us. about it. Thank yes. you for having us. Yes, mm -hmm. and just before we leave, you guys have to teach me something. Because yeah. like I've said, you guys in choreography, mm -hmm. I don't know what to say, but you have to teach me something. Yes. I'm probably going to be embarrassed, <laughs> but I'm ready for that embarrassment. You At least I'll be taught by Matata. You want to stand or you want to dance? I want, I want to stand. You want to stand? I want to stand. Oh. And I'll actually choose the dance that I want to learn. Oh, okay. cool. Gang it on love. Okay. Ooh. That choreo, I think it's fully. I do love all your choreo, but like the gang it on love specifically, it's my favorite one. Okay. So I'm ready to learn. As, you know, yeah. So teach 